Hey guys, what is going on and welcome back to another episode of Club and Country. This is episode number 71 and today we have three massive games with St Johnston in a massive episode as we first take on Manchester City away at the Etihad Stadium, aiming to keep our very, very slim title hopes alive, then face Newcastle in the round of 16 of the FA Cup, aiming to progress to the quarterfinals for just the second time in the series, and then the third and final game is the one I beat been waiting for and I'm sure you guys have been as well. It's Roma in the Champions League round of 16 first leg at McDermott Park. I am super excited and nervous for that game. All three are going to be massive. It's going to be a great episode and a lot of fun. And so we're going to dive straight into the first game of the episode then, away at the Etihad Stadium. Just one win in our last seven league games has seen us slip all the way down to fifth place, and we're already eight points adrift of the league leaders, Chelsea. It's a huge, huge game for us, and if we are to have any chance whatsoever of getting back in this title race, a win is the only thing that will do. So come on, St. Johnston, let's get our form started right now and get a big three points away against Pep's boys. And then start to the game, nine minutes in, but nobody yet to create a clear-cut chance. Maybe now, first shot coming from range, but Augustine fires it wide. Don't mind that, don't mind that, restricting them to long-range shooting. And a draw in this game is not terrible. Like I should say, a draw is not terrible, but that'll be one win in eight league games. That's not good enough to stay in the top four, let alone stay in the title race. So we've, we've really got to pick it up, man. It's going to be a tough test for us, this one, but I believe we can return to winning ways here. Tony with a good first touch, rolls it through towards Rob, who could be through here. Hamilton on the ball, tries to turn his man and get himself some shooting space, and Joe Hart makes a very... Very good save with his left leg to turn it behind for a corner. Still nil-nil as Barry goes up ahead. Oh, yes! Get in! Get in! Barry Hamilton has scored his first ever goal in a St. Johnston shirt. Get in the skipper! He's done it! He's finally done it! And this is so funny, but I think it was the last episode when I said he will score at some point, and I can't believe it! Barry Hamilton! Hamilton, the skipper, has headed us in front for his first ever goal in a huge game. What a lad! I am giggling like a little schoolgirl right now. I am so, so happy. And what a ball by Robbie's brother to Ollie going through. And oh, he's put it wide. Oh, that should have been two. Well, Manchester City are sending for De Bruyne and Aguero off the bench. Not a real surprise as we are still leading by a goal. Things will get a little bit tougher now, I'm sure, for the final half an hour. City so far have done absolutely nothing, but we still lead by one and could possibly add a second goal here. Rob through towards Ewan, running through, and he puts it in to the top corner. Ewan McDonald has made it 2-0 to St. Johnston, and this young man is having the season of his career so far, and is surely a shout for a Euro 2020 place. 2-0 to the Saints, points surely in the bag. Tony to Rob with a great through ball picks out Ewan and he should have had an assist in the first half but Burke spurned the chance for him but the ginger nut does get an assist here McDonald with yet another goal he's having a brilliant year for us and it's two for the Saints he's surely the points are in the bag now and we need our first win in our last what four five games and a big one here as Ewan gets his seventh and we stay in the title race come on Barry to Tony and a chance for a third goal here just before the end of the game to wrap the points up. Ryan Christie to McBurney, subs link up here. McBurney takes it a little bit too far wide or so it seemed initially. McBurney slots it in to the bottom corner, took his time and wraps the points up. Manchester City nil, St Johnston free. We're in this title race. McBurney takes his time after I thought I took it a little bit too far wide and slots the ball into the bottom corner. That's confidence right there from a side that had only won one in their last seven league games. McBurney with second league, game, uh, league goal of the year. 3-0 to the Saints. What a performance. City scored three at our house, so we come to theirs and score three as well. 3-0 the final score, three points in the bag, and that man Barry on the score sheet for the first ever time. It couldn't have gone better, I'd have planned it myself. 
and I felt we thoroughly deserved a win as well. All the City's chances really were half-hearted efforts, but for us, Barry Hamilton set us on the way to one of our best wins of the season. Captain, leader, legend, you just gotta love the old boy. What an absolute star. So it's time for the second of three big games today away at St. James's Park as we take on Newcastle United in the FA Cup round of 16. I will be fielding a week inside for the game as ever in the Cup and also with Roma in just a few days time. But after knocking out Arsenal with the backup brigade at home, I do fancy our chances of getting another win here and progressing to the quarterfinals. Let's do it. Come on St. Johnston. Let's get a big win in the Cup and keep our chances of silverware alive, not just in the league, but in the FA Cup as well. Early pressure from St. Johnston. Another corner already. 14 minutes in. Great. It's going to take it. Not a bad delivery. That one. And the header was actually wide from Mykon and goes behind for our third corner in 15 minutes. Another good delivery from Gray. And McDonald's header just over the bar. Perez for Newcastle, tackled by Gordon, the giant, who started this game off very well indeed. He's also, like Ewan McDonald, an outside shot for my Euro score come the end of the season, despite playing limited minutes for us. McDonald through towards McBurney, maybe a chance here. And, uh, Davidson on the ball, and Murray plays a great one out wide towards Alistair Gray. Good first touch, sets himself, shooting space, and oh, he's at the post. Gray has got a wand of a left foot, but sadly strikes the woodwork, and Newcastle escapes still 0 0. We have been a better side in this first half, though as we try and get ourselves on the score sheet and in front. Here's Rob Robertson on the ball, finding Alistair Gray down the right-hand side. And I really like this youngster. You know, I really, really do. He's got a great left foot on him, four-star skills as well. Always seems to play well when he's on the pitch for me, despite limited minutes. And here he is, down this right-hand side. And that's a great cross to the far post. And McDonald heads it just wide. I really don't want an FA Cup replay. You guys know how much I hate those. And with us being in Europe this season, I dread to think when the game will be getting played and how it will get it fitted into our busy schedule. But the way we've been playing in this game, you fancy us to go in front at some point. And maybe now Mitchell goes through and hits the post. And it goes across the goal line. And out of play, the other side for a goal kick. It's been all St. Johnston in this game. We've hit the woodwork twice, but we're still deadlocked at 0-0. Well, this is very frustrating indeed. Final score, Newcastle nil, St. Johnston nil. And the last thing we need right now is an FA Cup replay. But we've got one, a goalless draw, and we'll have to do it all again in Scotland. And when you look at these stats, you can see exactly why I'm so frustrated. I mean, seriously, how on earth did we not score in this game? I've got absolutely no idea. Three against City, none today, despite this game being a better performance from us, I swear. Very, very irritating indeed. Hit the woodwork twice in this game, but couldn't find a goal to break the deadlock. 0-0 the final score. Oh, no, an FA Cup replay! And now here we are, it's time for the big one. The third and final game of today's episode is our Champions League round of 16 first leg here in Scotland as we host Roma at McDermott Park. I am super excited for this game, but also really nervous for it as well. It's our debut year in Europe. We've made it into the knockout stages. Now can we get a very big advantage in this tie with a win in the first leg and a clean sheet too? Let's find out. Come on St. Johnston, this is gonna be huge. It's Daniela De Rossi looking for Doombia, but Patterson recovers to intercept the loose ball. 25 minutes in, not really too many chances in this game. There was one in the first eight minutes. Callum Patterson heading over a corner, but other than that, there's been absolutely nothing to report. And I wouldn't be against a nil-nil draw because it stops Roma from getting that priceless away goal. But I do want us to get some chances at the very, very least. And maybe one here. Burke on the ball, pokes it through the gap towards Tony. What? Oh, what a save by the Brazilian Allison to turn it behind for a corner. Still nil-nil. That's our first real chance, but a great save keeps it goalless as we go in search of the first goal. Free kick to Roma in a very dangerous position, 24 yards out, and it's taken by Dumbia, but he puts it into the stands. Thank goodness, a really good chance there for an upset piece, but the Ivorian couldn't even hit the target. It's still 0-0. We've been relatively untroubled in this first half, and that's encouraging as we go forward once again and go in search of the first goal of the game. And Tony's done really well. There's a hurdle to challenge and stroke it through the gap. But Allison snuffs out the chance, diving on the loose ball before McDonald could tap it in. Still goalless, but we've been a better team in this first half. And maybe we can end it with a goal. Burke on the ball finds Tony and Tony. Tony turns his man and pokes it through towards Ewan McDonald. Yes, get in into the bottom corner. Ewan McDonald this season has been absolutely fantastic. St. Johnston won, Roma nil, and we lead in one of the games of the series just before the break. 
Burke to Tony, holds the ball up, takes it around his man and pokes it through towards his strike partner Ewan. And these two this season have been absolutely excellent. McDonald with a finish, 1-0 to the Saints. What an advantage going into half-time. Barry picks up the loose ball and plays a good one towards Ryan Fraser down the left. And once he gets going, he's very hard to stop Ryan Fraser. And a little man turns on the afterburners and gets inside the area, takes his time, floats one into the middle, and McDonald has headed it in. Big man celebration for a big header. Ewan McDonald is just on fire. St. Johnston to Roma nil. And if we can keep a clean sheet and prevent Roma from scoring that every important away goal, we'll have an amazing chance of progressing to the Champions League quarterfinals. McDermott Park is rocking. McDonald's on fire. St. Johnston to Roma nil. Barry snuffs out another chance. He's been a rock in this game. Roma have got very, very, very few chances in this one, if at all, any, to be honest. And it's mainly because Barry Hamilton has just been absolutely fantastic alongside Callum Patterson at the back as we still are leading by two goals to nil. Just passing the ball around now as we are still up by two goals. Don't need to go in search of a third. But if we do get one, that will be massive as Tierney is down the left-hand side. And a great chance here with a left-back on the ball. Cutting inside a reverse step over. Plays it inside towards Ryan Fraser. And it's going to carry into the back of the net. St. Johnston free. Roma nil. What an extraordinary result. Ryan Fraser puts the icing on the cherry on the cake. And Lord knows I've not said that in a while. But I feel like for a special result like this, I need to bust out one of my old catchphrases. Ryan Fraser slips when taking the shot. But that doesn't matter. It deflects off Alice on the goalkeeper and into the back of the net. There's an element of good fortune with a goal. But I'll take it after what happened in the last game. 3-0 to the same tees. And I've got to say this right now. We may have one foot in the Champions League quarter. To finals. Well, now what we've got to do is see out the clean sheet, but instead we're going in search of a fourth goal. Shane Gray, who's just came off the bench, is running through one on one, and that's got to be a penalty referee. <laughs> Shane Gray just got flung about 10 feet in the air from the goalkeeper, and we've got a chance. I'm so sorry. I've got to compose myself to make it 4-0. And Tony Watt's standing up, but you know I'm giving it to you and McDonald. And I'm going to go to the top right. This has just been quite extraordinary. You and McDonald can make it 4-0. And he does. What a fantastic performance from you and McDonald. And that settles it. He's making my Euro squad come the end of the season. There's no doubt in my mind anymore. I said he had an outside shot of making it. And it's going to be difficult to leave out one of Rhodes, Griffiths or what as I'll only be taking three strikers but Ewan McDonald is surely a cert to make the squad for the Euros. He's been unbelievable and not just tonight but it is his first ever hat trick and it's four for St Johnston. Don't tell us that we don't belong in this competition. 4-0, the final score in the first leg of our Champions League round of 16 tie against Roma. We go to Italy with that massive advantage and surely, surely, no one is going to come back in the Champions League in the round of 16 when trailing 4-0 from the first leg. Has that ever happened before? I don't think so. Surely we're through. And for Ewan McDonald as well, the hat-trick hero, his first ever match ball. What a performance. Three of our four goals being scored by the youngster. What an unbelievable performance from him and the whole team as well. A great display. And surely we've got one foot in the quarterfinals. I can't see Roma pulling a Barcelona. Surely not. And that will end today's episode of Club and Country as well, guys. So a big thank you for watching. I really hope you have enjoyed it. I'm not even mad about the FA Cup replay to come in the next episode because as you look at the table here, we're back into the top four ahead of Liverpool on goal difference. Eight points still behind Chelsea, but maybe still in the title race. Still been a shot of winning the FA Cup too with that replay to come against Newcastle in the next episode. And of course, that magical 4-0 win at McDermott Park ends the episode too. Oh man, this was a crazy episode. Unless we forget, Barry Hamilton scored his first ever goal for the club as well. What an episode. I think it deserves a like. Don't you? Please do leave one if you enjoyed the episode. Much love to you all. Have a great night. And I'll see you for the next episode of Club and Country very soon.